All right, welcome everyone. JSK Rochester Virtual Dojo. We also have a good group of uh, two, four, six, eight, nine plus me, uh, includes me uh, here at the park. And uh, we're going to have a great day today. First, we're going to work on some uh, uh, kihon. And next, we'll do all the hand katas, uh, two regular and two reverse. And then uh, get into some of the bunkai from the kata and try and uh, see if we can put some uh, context to the moves that we're doing. Uh, if we have any extra time, and we'll go through an advanced kata or maybe add the techie katas. Okay, so let's get started with some warm-ups. Okay, come on up, folks. All right, well, let's, all right, jogging in place. And forward, backwards, forward, backwards, to the right, to the left, back to the center, jumping jacks. Come on, Peter. Get, I know. Get I, on the I'm timing. trying to get your timing. Come on. <laughs> I saw that one. Change your arms. Up, pull, up, pull. Change your feet. Good, hips around. Switch. Change the spotlight here. Okay, switch again. And again. All right, knee up, cross it over, knee back up, over, and then back. Bring it back, forward, over the top, and press down. Other leg, up, over the top of the leg, and right, stay here. Up, over, and push it back, and then bring it forward again, up, on the leg, up, and down. That's getting a whole lot of mobility in the hips. How does that feel for you, Tony? All right. You get pain or no? Oh, tightness. A little tightness. Okay. So, one of the things you can do, too, being like this. It's just sit down into this. Everybody, let's do that. Take your left leg, bring it here. Just sit down into it. Push the knee downward and push your buttocks rearward. There you go. Other leg. Same thing. Good. All right, easy kicks. All right, now this time we're just going to lift straight legged. Start with the left leg, we're going to do 10, and just here and uh, itch, knee, on. All right, so one little tidbit is try and have a slight hold at the top just for half a second. Don't just 
Wing it up, wing it back, okay? Feet. Go. Rough go. Make sure you sink on the base leg. Si chi. Hachi. Coop. Jew. Other leg. Hitch. Si. Sun. Chi. Oh. Let's go. Chi chi. Hachi. Two. And you. All right, let's go off to the side. Same sort of thing. Try and have just a slight hold at the very end of it. Itch. E. On. All right, so we're not swinging it, we're lifting it, okay? Chi. Go. Broco. Chi. Hachi. Two. And you. Other side, hitch. E. On. She. Go. Rock go. Hitchi. Hachi. Two. And you. All right, same thing with going to the back. Right legs first, hitch. E, sorry, left leg. Tan. Chi. Go. Roko. Si chi. Just straight leg lifting. Hachi. Ku. Look in the back and the buttocks. You. Other side. Hitch. E. Sun. Chi. Oh, rock, itchy, achi, cute, and you. Good, knee bends around, other way, figure eights. Okay. All right, squats. Switch. E. On. Chi. Go. Rock. Sit. Hatch. Do. Do. Do it. E. On. Chi. Go. Rock. Sit. Hatch. Do. Need. Need. Rich. Need. You need. Need to sound, need to see, need to go, need to rock, need to sit, need to hatch, need to cool, sound. All right, left leg forward, front leg, back leg, pitch, knee, sound, sheet, go, up, sit. Pick those knees up, hutch, coop, edge, other leg, pitch, E. Go along with your back leg, on, she, go, 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 see, see, hutch, coop. All right, so let's just do something a little technical here. From here, when you lift this front leg, I want you to pull the ankle back toward your hamstring. Here. Here. Okay, so I just want you to lift the ankle back toward the hamstring. I don't want it back here where the knee's pointing down. Knee's still pointing there. Really... Position is still in a good kicking position, right? But two things, when you lift, pulling into your hamstring, also lift the ankle in a, in a fully contracted way. This way, all right? Just front leg. Hitch, knee, sun, 
she go cook, sink into the back leg, hot cheek, two, two, switch leg, same thing, pitch, see, on, she go cook, see, she, hot cheek, two, and two. Okay, so this is something you got to check on your own when you're doing the exercises kind of here or on Zoom, is that when you lift the knee up, your foot is pulled into the hamstring for the snap. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it just it's more of a shove. You're not going to get that impact as you would if it were really snapped out and really get a lot of uh, quadricep movement to make it to make it go out and then the hamstring movement to come back. All right, go long to the right. They go a little longer than the hip. Push the shoulders back just a little bit. Make it a little bit harder. Come up on the ball of the foot on the front leg. And back. Okay. Straighten your front leg. Down and pulse it. You got tennis shoes on. Fix the tongue of your shoe so it's in the center. Touch the toes as you bend at the waist. You can go past the toes. Touch the pavement. All right, back the other way. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Go longer. Come up on the ball of the foot in the front, too. And down, straight. Push the hips back, bend at the waist. Touch the toes if you can. Touch the pavement if you can. All right, good. Arms around. Switch. Front back. Elbows up. Up and over. Switch. Small circles. The arms. Switch back. Palm forward. Back. Palms up. Back. Palms backwards. And back. All right, good. Work the shoulders for us. Just tighten them up. Bring it back. Next, side to side, down and up, side to side, turn, rotate. All right, good. Pick it out a little bit. If you guys see any uh, pebbles or anything, use your foot sweeps to knock them off the side while we're at it. There's a few here. Part where we had the big room. That is this the part where we had the big room? Yeah, there you go. Well, normally I bring out my uh, my blower, but uh, they had to, so I will do it. 
Next time we're out here, bring out the ball. I'm sure the basketball folks appreciate it, too. What's that? Yeah, that's a foot sheep training. There you go. A little hard to get the dead worms, though. Okay. Let's get going with some uh, some uh, Kihon. So we'll do the uh, uh, Shodan level Kihon and uh, see how we do. Okay, so one of the things I want you to work on today as you're doing this Kihon is really work on that pushing the knee forward as you try and get to the new back leg. The new back leg is what pushes you forward. So the sooner you can get on that leg, the faster you can move. So pushing down and in and get on this leg by pushing the back leg forward. Okay. All the movement doesn't come from just pushing off the back leg. That's only a very small portion of it. You should be getting onto the front leg and especially really good for back stances. This thing moves a whole lot. Okay. So try and get onto that front knee as soon as you can which becomes your back leg drive. All right, here we go. Get out of get them, break my leg. All right, someone's okay. Itch. Cool. Okay. All right, come on, a little shortened stance. We're going to release the front foot, Kazamazuki first, and then step in Samanzuki. Itch. And then shorten it up after you're done with the long one. Knee. Sun. Knee. Go. Girl. So release the front foot again, and then step backwards. Pitch. So Mickey, one, then step back. Okay, so you're really challenging your front leg because it's loading up and then pushes off of it. And when you step back, be careful not to drag the heel like this. When you step back, squeeze from here and push off the ball of the foot. Okay, so the the stomach squeeze below the below the belly button lifts that heel up so you can push. You don't have to lift the whole foot off the ground, but just don't drag the heel. Just lift the heel enough. Watch. If I lift the heel from here, that puts the ball of the foot on the floor. Pitch. Done. G. Go. All right, good. You want me to uh, straighten your lines up? No, not way back there. Not way back there. Come on. Now. That's all right. You got room. There's plenty of room. We're not going that way. All right. Let's get out again. I'm right. Come on. Hey. All right. This time we're going to start it with uh, Gakzuki. So from here, we're going to step in Gakzuki Kudan. Then Jodan, Jodan. All right. Pitch. Knee. Knee. Go. No, that's not it. Everybody just start with Gakzuki right now. Going backwards. First move is going to be Gakzuki. It's just a Samanzuki. With the action. So chew down, do it on, do it on. So as you step, first one, chew down, itch. Knee up. Leave it out, leave it out. Itch. Leave it out the whole time. Itch. <laughs> Only three. Awesome. Stop at three. Thou shalt not go to four. Only three, Peter. Hitch. <laughs> Not four. Go. All right, we're struggling on that one. Let's do it again. All right. Everybody wants to end with a jab. I get it, but that's not the exercise. 
got them challenging your mind. Okay, Gyakuke. Okay, three punches. First one on the step. Itch. 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 Backwards, Ushiro. Itch. Misa. Itch. Misa. Itch. Misa. Make the location correct. Two down, then two Joda. She. Go. Good, yeah, man. That was much better. Yes, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, still tempo one, two, three. Okay. All right, here we go. Get out of the gate, Umbra. Come on. Ready? Okay, hands up again. Okay. Agyuki Gyakzuki, full length Gyakzuki, and then shorten your stance up to be ready for the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. My. Itch. E. Hung. E. Go. Hey. Zero. Hey. B. Sun. G. Go. And all right, so stay where you are. Be careful not to take this agiuke across the body and lift. That is not an agiuke. Okay. That, that will get stopped by anybody that's got any kind of connection at all. If you're just a smidge late, if they put any connection to their to their arm, you will not be able to lift whatever their arm is. Because this is a lot stronger than this. We all know that, right? Our uh, deltoids and back are no, nowhere near as strong as lats and pecs. Okay? So when you do this, Come up on a diagonal and deflect whatever that is. No matter how much pressure they put on it, unless you're just really, really, really late, it's very it's gonna be very possible for them to to not be deflected, even with a lot of pressure here. Okay, so when you come up, come up on the diagonal like you're doing an uppercut. This way. And it doesn't come straight up, it comes across the body and up. But don't start here and then lift. Okay, one more time. Agyuki, Gyakuki. Etch. Ni. Han. Ni. Go. Etch. Kiro, etch. Ni. Han. Then come back to my. Chi. Go. They still kind of moving this way instead of a direct line. One line, you're kind of doing the circular thing. Okay, so tuki gyakuke. Well, actually, no, we're going to add another technique to this. So agyuke uriken with the front hand. So kizami uriken. Um, so it's a back fist this way, not this way. So straight down this way. And then Gakzuki. Professor, can I see that change from the Agyuki to the... One, the elbow just drops, two, three. Okay, so think of it as I've deflected his arm enough out of the way, I'm just going to follow the arm back to hit him on the bridge of the nose or maybe just below the nose and hit the pressure point here on the above the upper lip. All right, here we go. Pitch. So one, two, three. Me, son, me, go, girl, it's me, son, she, go. Hi, my so to kick out to get it's me. Um, B, go, H, zero, H, 
Me. Sun. She. Go. Okay, my. So to KMP Uchi, Urukin Gagsugi. Tom, when you step back, watch my legs. Doing that. Yeah, your knees are going out. I'm not sure if it's because your knee pain or whatever, but squeeze it. You can. All right, here we go. So to KMP Uchi, Urukin Gagsugi. Hitch. Hey, 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 so well, same thing for you from here. So you're letting all this be wide open. So if you were dodging a kick that was coming to your groin, you would not be successful. You're going to kick me here. D. Hey. Push up, Mike. One more. Go. All right, good. Good tempo. I think you're a little bit short on the amount of uh, squeeze you have on to deliver the uh, keep it out. Okay, so from here, just a smidge in, which is okay, but try and do a little bit better. You can squeeze it quick and extend it quick too. One, two. So here, here. So you're changing the inside to outside. You're getting a good drive from the back leg. All right, well, get out of gate on Barai. Uchi Uke Gyakzuke. Itch. Um. Me. Go. Zero. Itch. Me. Sun. Chi. Go. All right, now mental picture. I want you to picture down on the arm, hit the neck, okay? So the path is a little different. It's not just here. I'm going there, but I got to get, so picture they've grabbed my wrist or they grabbed my, my body, even here. One, two, okay? Mental picture that, and then Gaksuki Jode on this time. Okay, because or actually no, it's true, Don, because you brought them down, right? Now you brought them back up when you hit them in the neck. Okay, so you got to have those mental pictures, right? So you brought them down, and as you bring it to the bottom, you got to come right back up while their head is still moving. Okay, remember they're going to be they're going to be slightly behind your your down action because it's got to travel from here, from here all the way down into the shoulder and bring the head down. And their head's going to be like this. They're going to give it to you. Okay? And then after that, Joe and I, yeah, because we're on a job. Are we now getting under each one put them up? Nope, 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 nope. Just so the question was, are we, are we bringing them down and kind of pushing it down and hooking it? Now, we're just going to bring it down, squeeze, squeeze with a twist, squeeze with a twist, trying to bring their elbow to your body. Bring their elbow to your body. And then from there, you're going to be on top of it, and you're going to strike strike with the Uchuki. Okay? Yep. So one, two. And so the path is just a little bit higher than what normally you normally do if you got to get on top of their body. Remember, they're up here, right? So you got to get on top of it. Pull this down, then strike. Can you demo on me? Can I demo on you? Sure. Okay, so grabbing here. Okay, I'm going to be down here. Two, three. Okay, and I could even take this with me too. Okay, if I wanted to. So if I pulled them back, my Yatsuki would be chewed on. 
I pulled them back with the hickey tick. So again, big swing if you want, grab and big swing, grab, big swing, bam. Okay, so in both cases, I'm changing the hand that I hang on to just so that I know where they're at. Because if I hit them and that hand kind of comes around like that, I could end up with a head or a hand in the head. Okay, so we're not going for the head with that down. No, we're going, the arm. we're going for the arm. Okay. Bend, it, bend in the arm toward the body. Thank okay, you. Well, all right, let's go. So mental mental picture. Let's put put it in your brain. Pitch. So now there's a keyhole or a keyme point on the pole, right? A keyme point on the pole, so you can and then release the keyme point to go fast with the uchiuke, kind of like a reverse punch would have. So it's bomb, bomb, bomb. Um. <laughs> e. Oh, zero <laughs> itch. I try and <clears throat> really squeeze this nice and tight to the body. Yep. G. Go. All right, good. All right, going forward. Time get on the right, get to get itch. Knee, um, go, hey, girl, hey, done. Yeah, that one you did it correct, but the other one you did not. The other one you did not. G. I see that right hand always always goes like this. Go. All right, back it up there. Straighten your line up a little bit. All right, so now we're going to mental picture. Gate on Barai into the groin. So it's more of an out than it is a sweep. Okay, so it's almost like a gate on suke to the groin. So from here, <clears throat> here, and then from there, I'm going to uppercut Yaksuke. Okay, you can make it a hurricane if you like. Okay, you can do the upward punching action with a front hand on uh, uh, MP. Okay, you can do one of those, but you're opening them up so that this can be a Gyakusuke Chuda. Okay, all right, ready? Pitch. Knee. Um. Go. All right, so I would think that if you had in your brain that you were doing this to somebody, your ki would be a lot more pronounced and it would be existent. Okay, so put it in your brain. This is a real guy. I want to hurt him. Okay, big breath, good strong breath. Here we go. Same thing going backwards. Ushiro. There you go. There. Um. Go. you're forgetting the the front hand. Okay. The other thing too is this is a temp. This has to have a tempo. Uh, Marcus, can I use you for a second? Close. All right. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit you in the groin, but I'm gonna hit you maybe about here. Okay. Is that all right? Still, are you healed up from there? Are you healed up from any surgeries up in here? They're on the back. Okay. All right. So he's got a he's got a punch. That he's swinging in one, and I'm gonna step in. I'm gonna punch him. Okay. Down in here in the in the two knot. Okay. I need to have time for this to create a, a movement this way. Okay. And then from there, boom, boom in the ribs. Or it could be Joda. Okay, so I need this to be a, a tempo driven thing. Go. One, two, three. So let's work on that tempo part of it too. Okay, ready? Itch. Knee. One, two, three. Done. 
So, Mijo, instead of bringing it way over here like you normally do, just from here, from this uh, backside here, it goes more direct. Don't bring it all the way here. Push the elbow and then let the arm extend. It's almost like a gag to me. She. Hi. One, two, three. Go. <laughs> front hand, front hand, back hand. Push your own. Hit. Knee. Sun. She. And go. Good, yeah, man. All right, so all these, all these basics that we do, you know, that are the standardized stuff, you can always add, subtract, tweak it a little bit to make it more applicable to uh, combat if you ever need to. So that's why I try and do is add a technique or change the mindset of, well, what is this just a block from somebody stepping backwards and punching at you? Well, nobody does that. <laughs> nobody does that. And if you step into a my giddy, if you're just a hair late, you're going to eat a my giddy. Okay. So most of these are, are, are attacks. And if you think of all these blocks as attacks, that's a different way to, Put a mind to it that allows you to to make it more useful. Okay, Mike, do you have a question? Let's say Jerry Marone just last week had a long discussion in empty about this. Yeah. And he said the only Japanese sense that he saw do it in his mind strong empty is this. He says, how can you play the Makawari board like that? You're not. But that's what they yeah. show you in yeah. the book. No, oh, they're showing you punching a Makawari board? No. Oh. You well, it is this way. It is this way. And, and you know, you can argue it's a straight punch. It could be a straight punch if you wanted to. But straight punch to the jaw is a little challenging because bone on bone is not a good thing, right? I would rather have this. That's the other option. If you can't get under his chin, boom, there. But... If his, if his head is up, like, or head is coming down where I'm doing this gate on Barai to his groin, right? Creates a little bit of that, right? So then the next move is coming inside and up, up under the chin. It's an uraken upwards. But he brings up your ear and he's here. What about people here? All right, then, uh, then you don't do that technique. <laughs> If if you have a big height disadvantage, you can't do the uh, elevating punch. So you have to do a regular punch. And in fact, if they're tall enough, you don't you can't even get close enough to punch them in the face. So guess what? It's got to be it's going to be groin and then another back fist to the groin. Or maybe a, if you get them right in the groin, you're bringing their head down to you. That's another good point of it. So if you hit them in right in the groin, it comes this way. Even if I'm taller. I'm I'm at their Jodan level at worst, right? At best, I'm I'm I could be at Chudan level, which allows me to drive through it. Thank you. Okay, so I think the the gate on right to the groin is what makes that work. Otherwise, yeah, if you don't get their head coming down, you got to do something else. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Why don't you go ahead and take get a water break real quick. You may not get through everything you want to get through. We'll leave it. Let's say I got a to look at the power. Yeah, yeah. 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 He knows you do alternative. <laughs> Now, I always heard that was a, a whip at the very last. Yeah. Know, yeah, you're hitting with the top of the knuckles, yeah, not the front of the knuckles. Yep, agreed. 
And it doesn't mean, like I say, it doesn't mean that you couldn't change it if if the situation arose that hey, they were this didn't work so well and his head was right there. Yeah, I'd punch straight to it. Or I'd actually I'd probably go throat instead. Yeah. Open hand or eh, probably thumb, thumb yeah. in the throat or or uh in the throat in the web type of thing, and then step through, drive them down to the ground. All right, spread up or come up a little bit. Let's do some hand shoulder. Yeah, and shoulder. Pitch. Eagle. Eagle. Pitch. 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 How do you mean? Hey. 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 So you do a really nice job of bringing this way back here. But the thing you're not bringing there is the elbow. So then it becomes this just straight. And it's all tricep, right? So what I'd like to see is stretch the, the uh, lat away and then bring the lat down, bring this down. This, this part of it is a very minor part of it. It's this part. Okay, and then you could also hit him with the elbow if you ever had to, right? But forearm, we're not trying to flick them with the wrist. We're trying to bring them down and into the neck. And then the next one could be could be an elbow down into the top of the head, which takes them all, all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna go the opposite direction. Okay, so instead of going that way, we're gonna go that way. Hit. Knee, dance, eagle, hook, hit, touch, pitch, knee, hands, she, hook, hook, hitch, 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 knee, dance, knee. All right, come up this way. Let's get a partner. Come up over here. Yeah, like lines this way. So, oh, you had it right. You had it right. Oh, okay. So, Peter, come this way. Oh, no, come on over here, Masa. Oh, wait, no, you got, yeah, you, no, no family. Oh, yeah. Masa, come here. No going through. Uh, okay, come with me right here. All right, so right out of the out of the bat, we got a couple ways to engineer this one uh, for uh, self defense. So we're kind of in a confrontation. Maybe listen, right? So same sort of thing. Put the left finger out. Yeah, I'm going to take this now. Be careful when you move this. This breaks that finger really fast. I'm going to go off the line because that's that's the next one. This one here is not a problem anymore because I got it. The one. <laughs> Notice I didn't have to do much. The next one I could strike or I could hit with bicep bump. Boom. I like that one a lot too. Depends on how close they are. And then I'm going to grab the chin on the backside and turn. Okay. Stand back up. Come back. And if that come over here, if that chin grab, okay, one, sorry, if that chin grab slips, 
Okay, he slipped and he's able to step out. Okay, fine. Boom. Here's the next one. And then the next one is bang. And then if that doesn't work, I still got one more turning to the side and he lays right on my knee. Yeah, I let him I let him move away from it. He lands right on my knee with his back. So a lot of neck manipulation, but the first key is getting off the line. Get off the line, bam. So I got to step through to get a good position on this. And I could also, as I'm there, bang, bang. Okay, so I got I got a knee into his into his thigh as well, kind of in that middle zone between the the uh, hamstring and the quad. Okay, plus, plus. All right, Mike, come on up here. Let's try that for a few. So that side, go middle, go middle. Okay, so my sides. Well, both sides down. Okay, my side is kind of inching forward and then stick that finger up at you. Right over the left. Left hand, doesn't matter which, but it all still works the other way. Okay? So, no, no sorry, you're all right. All right, so grabbing with your left, pull it down and sideways and twist it. Oh, this <laughs> it's oh, a no. down block. Hold on, no, no, no. You gotta punch him first, though. <laughs> or a bicep no, bump. No. So step in. So, so right, take care. Oh. Oh, bicep bump. There you go. Grab the head now. Step backwards and pull. Step this way. Okay. I know you missed the first part of the explanation. Okay, one more time. Explanation, everybody take a look one more time. Grab. I'm going to take this. He's already moving. Okay, stay ahead of the paint. So I'm just going to move my right leg out this way. Okay. And the twist comes from here around my. I'm not trying to do this. Watch. No pain. No, no, no. Don't move. You don't have no pain. No pain. But if I twist around the fulcrum, which is the, the meaty part of my pinky. <laughs> All out, all out. Okay. Now notice his leg. I got it. His leg is set up for me to step through. Bam. Bam. And then from here, I'm going to step around his leg and pull this chin backwards. Watch. Isn't that the next move? Just a gate on the right. And I still have a hold of this. One, two. If that's good, I can strike him down here like that or. Or just end it right there because I twisted his head off the shoulder. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Do some on your own. Turn four. Oh, so remember you got it. Yeah, you're going to be good. Step through, Mickey. Step through, Mickey. There you go. Now, there you go. Good. Now, see, see how his head ends up in this this part of your arm by stepping through, and you can actually hit him with that too. Careful. Come on. Yeah. 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 So that takes the chin up and then down with that. So he goes here. No. So it, it gets him off of his squat. That's where he's very strong. You got to get him up and then over. Okay, one more. It doesn't have to be a. It doesn't have to be like a takedown step. Uh, if you're gonna do a takedown step, you're gonna fight your right. Actually, stretch is too long. Okay. Other person. I want to see how it's working. So Mary, if you can envision somebody sticking their finger in your chest here. 
Getting ready here. You're going to go that way. Grab the finger. All right. Now you're going to step in and hit my thigh. Step through. Get my chin. Send me up. Send me back away. The whole time you feel the tension because that's the stretch. Okay, so this is the problem that you have. Yes. <laughs> you know, Illustrated by Angel Worker. Right. So that works. Ah, oh, that works. Okay, now as you step in, hit his side with your knees, and I'll uh, go right through it. I think that's it. On a table, it's over here. You better back. Boom, hit right away. We're going slow. Oh, yeah. And boom. All right. Yeah. Boom, cut the chest. Yes. And back it off. Now grab his chin. Take his leg back. Wait. Couple more. Couple more. No, 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 no. No, I know he's gonna have to do it to me. Go ahead. I'm doing it. Go here. Yeah. Yeah. So. That way, there's already <laughs> pull it back. Oh, the fulcrum is right here with so this part of your. So he you pulled it back this way. That was real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now push that forward. Oh, yeah, on this mat. So you get more weight. Pulling this back. Still good. Pulling this back. Yeah. Yeah. There you can feel that sooner. Just so and watch. I just yeah, no pain. It's no. good to there. And you got pain. So if you pull the pinky side, I mean, you make a fist. Grab my finger without 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 doing any twisting. Just grab my finger and squeeze it harder. Yeah, you know, this squeezes it harder than that. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. So if you can build this first three finger squeeze, that's that's the grabbing part. Oh, yeah. First three finger squeeze. First three fingers. This two. That's yeah. one. Okay. Not, not here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make it work. Yeah. Okay. So the challenge, a couple things we, we saw. Mary, uh, Master, come with me. A couple things we saw that uh, didn't quite work. Give the hand out. Okay. Finger. Give me the finger. Okay. Moving the moving this. Don't don't move unless I move. I promise I'll go slow. Okay. <laughs> this. This does nothing. He has no pain. Okay. Now, if I just leave this here and I squeeze the pinkies toward me, now there's a little pain. And notice I don't even have these three fingers on at all. I could even have this one if I wanted, but I only need the first two to pull this and bend it. And so I pull the bottom, and by pulling the bottom, the front, the top comes forward slightly. Okay. But it immediately puts the pain on. And then as I'm doing that, I move to the side, which directs him to have to step. Okay, so do it again. He has to he has to bring his leg out to catch himself because he wants to. And I have this going downward, like the bottom downward bar. So then there, it's a knee to the quad. Bam! As I step through, smash. Okay. While you were trying to get in here, this is not a takedown, which I could do if I wanted to make this a full takedown. But I'm just going straight in so I can get a full forearm smash or a punch that goes through, come around. Pull the chin, step around it, and down. Okay? And then if he's still kind of hanging out there, you got an elbow, you got to smash this way, and another punch or taking them the other way. Okay? Close. All right, let's get back out and uh, do some hands. Close. Mary, any questions? No, uh, uh, I'm good. It, um, it it went well with just myself. So <laughs> okay. Oh, you you kicked your butt. I did. <laughs> okay. All right. So 
So I have to use Jed now. Nice. Okay, here we go. Hey, Anita. 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 This time, Okay, the old uh, hand across the body to make the Agiuki came back a number of times. I'm watching folks. Um, also, Marcus, uh, your right arm, no, left arm, does not seem to want to get over here. I don't know if you're just tight from lifting or what, but make sure you try and get your elbow kind of in line with your other side shoulder so that you can bring your big muscle, your lat, involved in the cheek go. Okay, show me. That's good, do the next one. Yeah, so that, that one, it was actually right arm, not so much. Yeah, there you go, yeah. So bring that elbow, be, and sometimes it changes left or right, but bring that elbow kind of down, down. if you had a straight line, elbow in line with your armpit, the, the crease of your armpit, going toward the target, bam. Yeah. And then think a little bit more, down. And if you were to just go like this and squeeze your arms, that's the feeling you should have about that one fist away. That's where you're the strongest when you make it just the tightest. There it is. Anything less, anything more, you start losing it up here. Anything less, you lose it down here. Okay, so it's kind of it's somewhere in the middle, about one fist away. All right, now the opposite direction. Get that elbow in line. Itch. Knee. Hun. Chi. Go. Rook hit. Itch, knee socks. Jeez. Oops. All right. Remember, uppercut, itch, knee. Hey. hey. I am a. All right, one more time on your own. Reverse. Reverse. <laughs> How'd you make? Peter, you got one more to go. I'm in the wrong way. Down block and rise above. There you go. Yeah, man. All right. Mary, uh, the, the computer might shut up before we get to the end of the class. For some reason, My uh, it might have been in standby mode while I was, uh, while I was uh, in the case for two days or three days. So okay. hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll last to the end of class. All right, everybody, come on back out. Get a partner again. New partner, non-family. 
Okay. All right. So this time, hey on, hey on, need on. All right. We're going to go, uh, uh, Tony, can I use you for a second? Well, we're going to do the first, the first move, um, which is a big swing. Boom. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to extend this out so he can't hit me with it. Boom. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to hit the same time I, I suppress. And notice I don't want to have this thing down in here, right? And I don't want to be too turned this way either. Even if I got my arm out, I can still get hit. 